Hi folks, this is Shefik. Today we are going to encrypt our Java classes. Encrypted Java classes will be decrypted in runtime. In that way, we can keep the logic in our Java code secret. This study requires to manage Java class loader mechanism manually. I'm going to share the link of this tutorial in the description of the video. You can find out more on this URL. Before begin, Please like the video and do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for your all support in advance. In this workspace, I'm going to create a hello.java and this is going to be a public class. And in this class, let's create a public function. Public static void. It's not going to return anything. And main function here it's going to expect string of arguments here let's print a hello world message let's check this code as running i'm going to call java command and call this hello.java it returns hello world as you might know, Java codes converted to Java classes and in the runtime, actually classes are running. To convert this Java code to a Java class, we are going to call Java compile command and call hello.java. Then it's going to create hello.class. Let's see the content of a class. It's partially readable as seen hello world message appears here that's why java classes are restorable objects now we are going to encrypt this hello.class and in that way we can keep its content secret here i'm going to create a encrypt class.java and that's going to be a public class that's going to have a main class and we can copy it from here this encrypt class will require import java.io and adds all subclasses similarly java.nio here we are going to read the java class Pet file is going to be pets.get and here I'm going to read that hello that class the bot pet and pets are under nio dot file actually we mentioned the pet of hello dot class now we are going to read it byte by byte that's why files dot read all bytes function will be called and we will pass file as input and this is going to return a byte array and set its variable name to content this read all bytes function should be in a try catch mechanism or easily we can throw an exception here now we have the content of the hello dot class as bytes and we are going to encrypt this content that's why we are going to import java x dot crypto module to run encryption we will firstly declare the encryption algorithm cypher encryption is going to be cypher dot get instance and here we will pass the algorithm name and it's going to be AES AES algorithm requires 128 bit uh, K that's why here I'm going to define a K the length of 128 bits now we are going to initialize the encryption we'll use this for encryption duty that's why we will use cypher.encrypt mode. As a second argument, we will mention its secret key. New secret key spec. And here we are going to mention k0, k1, 
k.length and finally name of the algorithm which is AES there's a typo in the length this secret case spec as under java x dot crypto dot spec configuration is done and we can run the encryption encryption dot do final and here we are going to pass the content we want to encrypt and this is going to return a byte array as well and that's encrypted content we can store this encrypted content and we will use file output stream object and that's under the java.io this is nib file output stream and here we will mention the file name which is going to be hello encrypted.class once this file output stream is defined we are going to use a write function and uh, we are going to write this encrypted content and finally close it encrypt class is ready to run we can run it as java encrypt class dot java command and it's run successfully and as seen here hello encrypted dot class is created as seen its content is not readable now we are going to read this encrypted content and decrypt it in the runtime here i'm going to create a encrypted class loader dot java this is going to be a public class and it's going to extend regular class loader regular class loader has a find class function and it expects a class name and this function is going to return a java class we have to overwrite it in our encrypted class loader and finally it's going to return a define class function and here we are going to pass class name as input content zero and content dot length the question is what is content we are going to read the hello encrypted dot class content and decrypt it and pass to the content here let's import java dot nio dot file dot all to have a read file functionalities let's declare the path here path file is going to be paths.get and it's going to be hello dash encrypted dot class then files dot read all bytes function and pass file as input and it's going to return a byte array and this is encrypted content remember that we have to throw exception here now we are able to decrypt this content that's why i'm going to create a cipher object and label it decryption and it's going to cipher dot get instance and pass the algorithm name which is aes we have to initialize this cipher object and let's copy it from here we are going to call decryption dot initialize now that's going to be decrypt mode and we will pass k here i'm going to expect this byte array k in input Also, this cipher object requires to import some uh, crypto classes. I'm going to copy it from here. Now we can run the decryption. Decryption dot do final 
and let's pass the encrypted content as input and this is going to be a byte array and that's decrypted content actually our encrypted class loader is ready and let's compile it java compile and uh, pass encrypted class loader java as input this class is created now we are able to load encrypted classes i'm going to call this encrypted class loader in an external class and let's name it my project.java that's going to be a public class define its main function public static void because it's not going to return anything it's going to just call our encrypted class main and as input it's going to expect string of arguments i'm going to need the secret key used in the encrypt class i copy it from here because i'm going to use the secret key to decrypt our encrypted uh, hello class here we are going to initialize encrypted class loader it's in the same folder with our my project.java it's going to be my class loader and just initialize it we are going to use at find class function remember that we overwrite this find class function and it ex expects class name first we should pass this class name here to avoid hard-coded development mm. i have to recompile this encrypted class loader that's done so we are going to load hello dash encrypted dot class here and we will pass our secret key here remember that find class function returns the java class that's why this is going to be our dynamic class once our uh, hello uh, encrypted class is decrypted and it's loaded with our dynamic class loader we are going to access its main function this requires to import java dot lang dot reflect dot method we are going to call dynamic class dot get method function access that's main method this main method will expect array of string that's why we are going to call string array dot class and this get method function returns the method object type and assign it to a m variable we are going to call invoke function under the m variable here we will pass null as input and as a second argument we are going to define a object array and its content will be null as well and finally this main function should throw exception it's ready to run but before that please notice that hello.class is created with hello.java but hello-encrypted.class is created with hello.java as well here the class name and the file name must be same in java projects i'm going to rename this java class append a dash prefix this is not going to be called again and rename this hello-encrypted.class with hello.class because notice that when it's decrypted its content include hello class and here we are going to find hello class now let's run this my project.java and call java at my project.java and it returns hello world message remember that in the hello.java 
we just print all of our message. We actually print that message from this encrypted hello dot class. We actually rename this dot job file to be sure uh, it's not called. It prints hello message again. So we have created our customized class loader and it extends a regular class loader. That way we can keep our Java files secret. That's the end of the video. Please like it and do not forget to subscribe to the channel.